Hey guys, what's going on? James here. Jimmy Screens, Mr. Chiller. Got a couple of shout outs. And I got a couple of things I want to show y'all. I got Robert Looney and Sir Olin Cohen. Alright, thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate the new subscriptions. It's pretty awesome. Keep them coming. Big 20 gallon tank. It's a snail graveyard. Courtesy of these guys right there. Not my shoes. This guy and this guy. Kicking butt. Looking awesome. Look at that green up there. Boof. It's all frog bit and some duckweed. Alright. The crypt's doing good. The valve's doing good back there. Lotus is still hanging in there. Java fern. Over here. Wow, we're talking about a reflection. Alright, um I ended up catching some blackbeard algae due to the fact that I had run out of XL probably like two, three weeks ago. So did some trimming up in here. Chop some of this stuff down. This didn't have no blackbirds. So if anybody wants this kind of stuff, you know, pay the shipping and you can have it, you know. So, but the uh, Brazilian sword back there, it caught it. Not drastic, but it did catch it. Same with the Amazon up here. Got it a little bit. Now it's not as bad. I trimmed out some of the leaves, but there's one still with a little bit in right there. So, but you can see where I actually cut them down. So it is what it is. Um, did a water change in here a little while ago. Got everything right. You notice that that wood up there is bare. The blackbeard algae caked the willow moss. I've never seen moss actually get blackbeard algae on it. But that was the case, so I ripped it out of there. You can actually see where it turned red underneath where it was attached. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, there's a Siamese algae eater. Mr. Royal, there he is. I was going to say he was out just a minute ago. Where did he go? There he is. Check him out. Still hanging in there. But uh, it's looking pretty good. Look at this tiger lotus here in the front. It just went eight. Skimming all the way up on top. Looking really boss. There's the green lotus. And then there's another green right there. So, everything overall is looking pretty good. Up on top, it's a massive frog pit. When I say massive, I mean, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> massive. Everybody see that dark green stuff in there? That is cyano. Just so people know, that's the cyano. Alright, of the freshwater tanks. This was in the 20 gallon because there's really no flow in it. And that's just basically what it is. But you can see how dark that is inside there. That's what the cyano looks like in the fresh water. So if anybody's wondering, it actually has a really good smell to it. It's kind of like a fresh vegetable type smell, I guess. Weird stuff. Uh, so that's that. Brief take, the glass is filthy. Excuse the glass. Clammy is just banging. Look at how big he he stretched clear out. Look at that. I'll go to angles so you can see it a little bit. He stretched out massively. Everything is starting to look really good. I got a magic mushroom in here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Look at that. <laughs> He's actually attached with his little string there. So I guess he's planning on moving. <laughs> he beats the heck out of me, but look at it. Uh, these guys just wanted to fly a kite, and that's all they had was a balloon. Or a blue-green mushroom up here, so maybe they're flying a kite. I don't know. But uh, yeah, everything else is looking pretty good. Glass, like I said, is filthy. I didn't do nothing on the glass. I still haven't changed the water in here, just so you guys know. Check him out. He's 
banging his rock. That's how they do it. They bang that rock to make sure they're down there. Notice how there's no green on him really? Look at that. The urchin was on him last night. The sea hare was on him the night before, so they're taking turns. The urchin's up here chowing down up here. The glass is filthy, God. There's a mushroom up on that rock. There's also a mushroom back underneath there. You see it inside the tunnel on the left? Just gets kiting away. But yeah, the mushrooms are just doing their own thing, moving around. So it's pretty funny how that's working out. Slowly disappearing, guys. Looks like a park up here. Look at that awesome bacon. The not so colorful bacon. Soccer ball, he's making friends with the other one. Oh, and I put my acrylic overflow in here. I almost had a disaster the other day. I was getting ready to go to bed, and I just happened to look in the tank, and it was all the way to the top of the water. The overflow was just not enough, so that's what's going on up here now. A bigger overflow, that's the one that I had built probably a couple years ago, I guess. So now it's working like a charm. So that's the big overflow. Doing really good. And then over here, last but not least, is the encrusting Manipura. It's called the Tyree Pink Sand Dollar. So I can get a little focus on it. It's starting to actually extend its polyps. It hasn't been doing that for quite some time. Last night it really dropped them out. Today, so-so. Same with both of them. I mean, they weren't doing that before, so really happy about that. They decided to come out of whatever it was that they were doing. Another shot from over here of them. Uh, you see the polyps are finally starting to come out. So, those are the guys that are actually surviving in the frag tank. And possibly this guy right here. Oh, it's still got some green on it. So I've been keeping an eye on this guy. So uh, we'll just have to see. And then as far as stopping the overall micro bubbles, massive amount anyways, that right there is the Coral Life 65's box for the return. And what I did was I utilized this return, and put it inside here, just the water flow so that it's not going to over skim. It's like right where it's supposed to be. But it's stopping all the bubbles, dramatically stopping the bubbles. I had to grind this side off of this actual bracket. See how this bracket right here goes across? I come right here and I just ground it completely off on the other side over there. You can't move this, so that's the only way I could get it in there, but it's actually working really well. There's only a little bit of micro bubbles, and that's mainly coming from over here, from the flow of the actual aquifer. So, um, all right, guys, that's it. That's all I got. Hope you enjoyed. There's a quick shot, and automation has started to kick in. <laughs> These guys will be next. But, yeah, there you go. All right, guys, with that. Hope you're having a great week. Bye-bye.